Okay guys, welcome to our monthly knife video. I think that's a good idea, one video a month on knives. No, I'm not trying to sell you a knife. If you're not interested in buying a knife, don't buy one. You can still enjoy the video, check out the cool knife. And if you do want to buy one, go ahead. It makes no difference to me actually. The selling of the knives, that's the wife deal. But she's got some cool ones and I want to show them off. Like this. Check it out, man. I don't know why there's a hole in it. Got a little bit of rust on there. Carbon steel, right? High carbon steel made out of leaf springs. Look at these marks in here. Oh, how cool is that? It's got a stamp. Don't know what it says. It looks like FC. Pretty cool, huh? Look at that. I have seen these before. I think I showed it in a video, one similar to this. In a market somewhere. Oh, God, that. How oh, cool, man. Huh? How cool is that? These knives will rust, obviously, if you don't take care of them. Uh, two-piece wooden handle, full tang, and uh, three rivets through it. I think the hole is cool. That is a beast of a cleaver. Look at that, huh? <laughs> man, oh man, I tell you what. Huh? That would make a butcher really happy, I think. Nice and heavy. Beautiful work. I, unbelievable. And from my perspective, these are pretty much exactly the same. Yeah? The wood's a different color. But the shape of the knife Obviously the mark in here, this is, I guess from the leaf spring, I don't know, those are in different places. The hole, not the same size, this one's a little bit bigger, a little bit of rust, surface rust, if you can't handle a little bit of rust, you should buy stainless steel. My opinion, if you want a really good knife, High carbon steel is the way to go. Again, <laughs> my opinion. Pretty cool, man. I tell you what. Uh, the one I use is like this one, but mine's an inch shorter. Exactly the same shape, same knife. I like this rounded edge. Personally, I like that. I find it works really good. Got eyes on it, is it? Look who's that? That's the one like I have. Like I say, mine's one size smaller than this. I think she bought bigger ones the second time around or something. This is the exact same knife, but it's shiny. Now I don't know if this will rust or not. I assume it will. It's got the eyes. The same exact same logo. But it's some reason shiny. These are a lot lighter, a lot thinner, and uh, the blade's same same length. Very similar in size. The handle is longer, a different shape, but the blade is very very similar. To line up the cutting edge, pretty close. But this one's got this big rounded area. Personally, I like that. For using, for cool, this is cool, man. This is really cool. Look at that, huh? You could stab somebody with, with that. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Man, that is so, so cool. Nice. 
I tell you what. You can see the the patina is still somewhat on here from uh, the original leaf springs, I guess, or whatever this was. When you get these knives sharp, uh, for me, every time I use my knife, I clean it and dry it and put it away. It don't sit in a sink full of water or anything like that. And uh, it doesn't build up any rust. It builds up a patina. It builds up a coating. It, it turns black like this. Even the blade will turn black. And the only shiny part on it is right at the, the very edge. Because that's the part you sharpen. It's right at the very edge. And personally, I prefer these knives over the stainless steel ones. But some of that might just be the cool factor. And there's nothing wrong with the cool factor. I really do think these are insanely cool. I tell you what, I'll put the the link to this knife on the, the wife's website, shopthailandonline.com, if you are interested in it. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, really thick too, huh? All the numbers and that'll be on the on the website. I don't know what they are. You can see it's thicker through here than it is at the top. Oh, this part thins out here. This part thins out. Maybe that's how they got this point on it by thinning it out, beating it out. There's some weight in that. Look at that. That's got to be five millimeters thick through there. Oh, unbelievable. No idea what kind of wood it is. But whoever, uh, whoever did this, they knew what they were doing. That's for sure. A little bit rough through there. But uh, feels smooth enough. It just looks rough. Fits really nice. Man, oh man. Anyone who works with works with meat. Not for chopping leg bones, but ribs and stuff like that. Or uh, I use a big knife like this, normally my machete, when I'm butchering goats. I split them down the middle. No problem. I'm real, huh? Beautiful knives. Might have to keep one of these. Maybe I need a really cool knife. Another really cool knife. Maybe in uh, the next video I'll show you my knives. The ones I have. I use my knives, you know. They've all got some use on them. I got one that 12 inch uh, machete. Looks like a hunting, big hunting knife. Don't use that one much. But uh, the other ones... I buy them to use them. That's just my preference. Some people buy them to put on the wall or show their friends. Up to you. But personally, I put mine to work. Alright guys, but well that's it. Like I said, if you want to check these out, I don't even have a clue what this thing is worth. Uh, more, than, more than this one, for sure, just by weight alone. And I don't know what she paid for them. Like I say, I've only I remember seeing them once. I think it was a market. Uh, there was a lady selling knives from a cart, and I think she had one like this. I know I've seen it somewhere, but not a popular one. These here, pretty easy to get normally, and uh, these are not. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Maybe next next month, not next week, next month video on knives, I'll show you my collection. Got a few, not a lot. I could have a lot more. <laughs> it can be very addictive, this knife business does for sure. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching.